Hey everybody, it's Favette Haggerty, the dog trainer, coming to you from South Florida. And I've got my assistant Elvis here. I don't know how long he's gonna be on camera, but he'll help me until he stops helping me. So today I wanna to talk to you about first aid kits. This is something that you wanna have in your vehicle as well as in your home. The reason why you wanna have it in your vehicle is you wanna have it ready anytime you're either on a road trip or you're just running to get a pup cup with your dog if something happens, you want to have that first aid kit nice and handy. So I keep my stuff in a big box. I got this off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below and I'll go through that in a minute. But in addition to this, what I also keep is my quick stop. Always want to have a headlamp. I won't put the light on, but this is great in case it's dark. You wanna keep this on your head and this way you don't have to hold on to a flashlight if you're doing something with your dog. It's a good look, isn't it? You wanna have activated charcoal in case your dog ingests a poison um, or even chocolate, something like that, which is still toxic to dogs. Hydrogen peroxide to make your dog throw up. And watch my video on getting your dog to throw up and what happens when they eat chocolate. I also recommend Trazodone if you have it. If your dog needs it when you go to the vet, it's always nice to keep handy in case there's an emergency and you need to calm your dog, provided they're able to swallow, but talk to your veterinarian about that first. Gentian Violet, which is my favorite miracle cure for all skin infections. I love this stuff. The only thing is that sometimes it gets a little purple on your hands, but it's okay, it's not a big deal. I am going to make a separate video on Gentian Violet and what to use it and how to use it, but this is great for skin infections. And that's what I've got outside of my box. And now let's go through this huge first aid kit made specifically for dogs. You have the digital thermometer. Now, anyone who ever takes my training classes knows the secret of how to prep your dog to have their thermometer taken. Unfortunately, not all dogs will tolerate it, but when you train them properly, you can get them used to having their temperature taken. This is also a great little feeding kit if you have to shoot a pill down or liquid. It also comes with a bowl so that you can feed your dog or water your dog. And this should be in every hiking kit. And you, can, you should always have one in your car regardless. There's also emergency blankets. There's actually two emergency blankets in this kit. You have a towel which if you have to cut it and use it as a tourniquet, you can use that, or if you just need to keep your dog warm. I also have scissors, a little zipper baggie. Also little spray bottles. These are great if you're like me and are into essential oils, so, so you can just keep these handy, fill them up with your essential oils. Then you also have a muzzle in here, just a little muzzle, a nylon muzzle, and you should watch my video on muzzling your dogs but I also am going to make a video on the hasty muzzle. How you muzzle your dog if you don't have a muzzle on you. It's essential to muzzle train your dog in case they're in a situation where they are hurt or in fear. It's also for your own safety. This also comes with a great little pill box. So if your dog is on medication, you have his pills right there. Safety pins. Who doesn't have the grandmother that wears the safety pins on their house dress? I think everybody's grandmother wears safety pins on house dress because you never know when you're going to need a safety pin. Every girl knows that. Magnifying glass in case you're looking for like ticks, fleas, a splinter, etc. And then you also have these little tick grippers, Q-tips, a comb, which is very handy if you're looking for fleas. So in here you have your gauze, your gauze tape, your vet wrap, you even have poop bags. You have iodine prep pads, alcohol prep pads, hot and cold packs. You also have bandages in here. This kit comes with everything you could possibly need. So you wanna keep this kit, all the goodies that are in there, along with your hydrogen peroxide, your headlamp in case something happens and it's dark out, and this way you have two hands, you're not holding a flashlight and your dog at the same time. Your hands free. Your quick stop in case your dog is bleeding, your charcoal in case they ingest a poison. and. Gentian Violet, my favorite stuff. Keep this all in one box. Keep it one in your house and keep one in your car. 
And if you have it in your car, you'll never need it. If you have it in your house, you'll never need it. It's when you don't have it that you're going to need it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy these tips. Until next time, happy training, and thank you for loving your dog.